Do you hear that? It sounds to me like the beginning of a cold, which means it might be time to write some plans for a substitute teacher. However, if I'm picking, let's find a better reason to not be at school. That sounds like the beginning of a beach vacation. Now it's time to write some plans for that sub. Whatever your reason for your day away from the classroom, I'm gonna be sharing my top three tips that you can do right now to make your day, your student's day, and that substitute teacher's day that much easier while in the classroom. Tip number one is to keep your schedule as close to normal as possible. I know it might seem appealing to plan a really easy day of first you do this, then you do this, then you do this, activities back to back to back that you know will keep your students quiet and working. However, if it's anything outside of the norm, I know your students are going to recognize it. Our students thrive under consistency and especially especially when you've really built that schedule in your year, students are used to those routines. Anytime you bring in anything new, that's where the chaos can start. So tip number one is to keep your schedule as close to normal as possible. Keep the chaos to a minimum and keep your students on track with the things they know to expect during the school day. Tip number two is to bring in a new, exciting and engaging behavior incentive just for the day. I have a system that I use just for when subs are in the room that my students look forward to. And it gives them great motivation to do what the sub is asking for during that day. I have special slips of paper that the substitute can send home when a student does an amazing job during the day. And if they bring it back to me signed the next day, they're gonna get a reward from me as well. That's a super easy way to incentivize students to do their best work for the substitute teacher. I also love to give students the opportunity to write and tell me about the day with that substitute teacher. You're gonna learn about a lot of the things that did not go well, but you're also gonna learn about the things that did. Bring in that new and different behavior incentive for that day to keep your students doing their best work all day long. Tip number three is my favorite because it's one that I think makes planning for a substitute teacher so much easier. And that is to keep a minute by minute, bare bones schedule ready to go. Nothing is worse than waking up and realizing you're sick at 5.30 in the morning when you know students are gonna be waiting at your door by 7.45. And then you have to send the emails, make the phone calls, and then type lesson plans. Ugh. It's terrible and you already don't feel well. So what I do is have a bare bones, minute by minute layout just saved and ready to go. I'm not going to have to type out when we go to lunch, what time music class starts, who needs to leave the room to go to speech at certain times. I have all that ready to go. All I'm doing to these plans each time I'm prepping for a substitute teacher is adding in the activities that are very specific to that day of work they are doing. Having that bare bones plan is gonna make your life easier. If you're looking for a great template to use for that minute by minute plan that's gonna make your subs life easier, I actually have one for you and you're going to get it by signing up to pre-order the book that we cannot wait to share with you, How to Love Teaching Again, by Jamie Sears, the not so wimpy teacher herself. We are so excited for this to hit shelves in April, and you can have it set up to hit your shelves as soon as it is available. I'm gonna have the link for the pre-order linked up in the cards and down in the description box. By pre-ordering the book now, you are signing up not only to receive the book right at your front door the day it goes on sale, but you are also signing up to join an entire community of educators. I say all the time, my favorite thing about working here is that sense of love, support, and celebration of working with other amazing educators. And by completing our pre-order, you're gonna get to join the fun. With your pre-order, you're going to get access to templates and resources, including a minute-by-minute sub-plan template that's gonna make prepping for a day away from the classroom so much easier. Make sure you click the pre-order link up in the cards or down in the description box. No matter your reason for being out of the classroom, whether you're not feeling well, I hope you feel better, 
or you're taking a great trip. I hope you have a fantastic time. I hope that these three things are gonna help make your life a little bit easier. I know planning to be away is challenging no matter the circumstances, but take care of these three things each time and it's going to go really smoothly for you. As always, talk with me down in the comments. Do you have something you do every single time for a substitute teacher? Are you one of those teachers who leaves a treat for the sub? I know that always makes them smile. Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you aren't already, make sure you're subscribed to our community here on YouTube. We put out new content every single week and I would love to have you come join the fun. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye.